Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com and today we are going to do an important topic for SEBI grade 2023 that is the accounting standard 2 AS2 for valuation of inventory very important topic students uh, we are going to cover that within like 10 12 minutes okay let's start what is the objective of this uh, accounting standard right the valuation of inventory the primary issue in accounting for inventories is the determination of value at which the inventories are carried in the financial statement right so in the balance sheet inventories are on the asset side so at what value we should evaluate or we should value the inventories so that is a question whether to you know uh, record the inventories at cost or market value market value or net realizable value at what rate we should record the inventories so this accounting standard answers that question right so the base behind this accounting standard is the inventories are to be recorded at cost or net realizable value nrv whichever is lower whichever is lower so what is net realizable value we'll understand in the next slides right so let's start this standard should not be applied is not applicable in the following cases not applicable in uh, for work in progress under the construction contracts for construction contracts uh, there is a separate accounting standard AS7 so it is not applicable AS2 is not applicable in case of construction contracts in case of service industry right if you, your work in progress is for uh, in an ordinary course of business of a service provider AS2 is not applicable like service provider ke case mein, it is not applicable if the inventory is in the form of shares debentures or other financial instruments then obviously uh, we are not going to implement accounting standard 2 producers inventories of livestock in case the uh, inventory is uh, is in the form of livestock agricultural produce forest produce mineral oil ores gases in that case whatever the industry standards are whatever the industry policies are practices are that is to be impl implemented right not this accounting standard 2 okay in these four cases as2 should not be implemented okay inventories are assets what is the definition of inventory under accounting standard 2 in these cases the as2 is going to be implemented in these four exceptions accounting standard 2 is not going to be implemented the definition of inventory is held for the for sale in the ordinary course of business so this is important what do you mean by ordinary course of business so if somebody if there is a factory who's which is producing pens there is a pen factory plastic plastic sticker or uh, you know uh, the packaging material all that is inventory in the ordinary course of business so let's say there is a pen factory and they have a bus they have a bus for transportation of their employees that bus is not an inventory in ordinary course of business right or let's say this pen factory or uh, this company has invested in some shares or they have in uh, they have bought some debentures of another company right that is not inventory okay so held for sale in ordinary course of business so point number one in the process of production of such sale so in case there is a trader there is a uh, there is a pen shop there is a uh, stationery shop that uh, pen shop or the stationery shop he bought 10 boxes of pens 10 boxes of pen for sale so on 31st of march when he's uh, you know closing the books these 10 boxes would be the inventory so he held those pens for sale so it is his inventory and in case of a pen factory plastic is used to prepare to make the pens so plastic is used in the process of production of the final uh, product right so plastic is used in the process so that is also inventory and any uh, you know uh, in case the uh, 
you are making the pen so let's say the 50 percent of the job is done the pen is half done okay or 40 percent of the production process is complete in that case that uh that 40 percent completed pens are also inventories okay so in form of material if that is in work in progress progress or that uh, product is held for sale in all these three cases we are going to consider them as inventories okay let's move forward definition of inventory is done measurement of inventory at what rate you are going to record the inventories in your books kis rate pe aap inventories ko apni books pe record karoge cost or net realizable value whichever is lower so let's say there is a pen factory and it produced let's say 10 kg of plastic uh, plastic uh, in any, any format in any form it bought the plastic so let's say uh, the net realizable value is let's say 12,000 rupee while the cost is 8,000 rupee so you are going to record at 8,000 rupee right you will take 8,000 rupee but let's say the cost is 8,000 rupee but net realizable value is 5,000 you are going to record at 5000 rupees so whichever is lower we are going to consider that what is net realizable value net realizable value is the estimated selling price so let's say the 10 uh, the the plastic that you have purchased its selling price minus selling price minus any cost that you may need to incur to make the sale happen any expenses on you know any selling expenses that you may need to make uh, you need to deduct that and once you deduct that you will get net realizable value as a name suggests net realizable value by selling that uh, plastic how much money that you are going to get that is net realizable value selling price minus selling price or market price minus any cost that you may need to make to make the sale right any estimated cost that you may need to make okay so estimates can be made uh, you may have paid brokerage or any any carriage maybe uh, any any other expense that you might have made so you need to deduct that to find out the net realizable value so lower of cost historical cost or net realizable value that is the that is the value that you need to consider to record the inventories exclusion from cost of inventories any uh, unnecessary uh, item you need to you know exclude let's say abnormal amount of wastage so uh, while you are producing you know pens you know that uh, let's say to make 1000 pens you know that you need 10 kg of plastic and out of this 10 kg you know that the industry standard is 5 percentage of the plastic is wasted that's normal but let's say 20 percent of the plastic wasted yesterday so that is not normal that is abnormal so you are not going to consider that in the inventory storage cost there are certain products for example wine whiskey where storage can you know contribute to the production process wine banane ke liye storage karna zaruri hai but to make pens storage is not necessary right so storage cost unless they uh, those are necessary for the production process they cannot be included in the inventory okay uh agar unnecessary storage cost hai, uh, let's say the you produce a pen aapne pen produce kiya and it is there in your go down for two years right you paid uh, the go down rent for two years that is not normal okay administrative overheads that do not contribute to the production process right that do not uh, contribute to you know bringing inventory to their present uh, location and condition that is also you know not included any selling and distribution cost is not included in the cost of inventory okay please remember that what is the accounting method that we are going to use see students fifo and the weighted average method formula is allowed by the icai right lifo is not allowed i have already discussed fifo weighted average formula i'm not going to go in depth but let me explain 
let's say you are uh, running a pen factory and let's say you bought plastic from two different suppliers a supplied at the rate of rupees 100 per kg b supplied at the rate of 120 rupees per kg right and you bought 10 kg from a and uh, let's say 20 kg from b and let's say you consumed uh, you know 10 kg so this uh, you know 100 rupee per kg it arrived first in the in our factory okay it arrived first you bought that in jan and you bought that in feb okay it arrived first and then the raw material from b arrived okay so in that case let's assume that you consumed 20 kg so this 10 kg is consumed and now this 10 kg is consumed okay so you are going to to you know calculate the value at the rate of 120 rupees only so the value that we are going to consider is 1200 rupees okay so that is the FIFO method first in first out what comes first in our you know plant we are going to consume that first okay that is that's how we value it that that is a FIFO method that is what we are supposed to uh, you know uh, use and then second one is weighted average so weighted average is another simple method so 100 rupee uh, so 10 is a weight okay you can also do uh, do that it's simple okay that's how we calculate it uh, it's 3400 weight is 30 so just divide 3400 by 30 okay you will find the per kg value and that's that's easy actually so these are the method allowed LIFO is not allowed the formula used should reflect the fairest possible approximation to the cost incurred in bringing the items of inventory to the present location so whatever the method either fifo or weighted average you are using it should fairly you know represent the uh, the inventory that should fairly represent the value of inventory that should be fair okay whatever you are using okay there is a question uh, according to accounting standard 2 inventory is to be valued at so it is not historical cost or net realizable value it is historical cost or net realizable uh, value whichever is lower many students would be confused between a and d but sales value is not the answer sales value minus any expense that you make to make that sale happen okay any money that you pay to make that sale happen you make the estimations that is net realizable value okay and then accounting standard 2 deals with valuation of inventory that is very common question asked in the exam if you know examiner you know have decided to you know give you easy paper then that would be the question so students say be grade A 2023 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com we are providing video classes notes test series for both phase one and phase two all the exams all the papers are covered descriptive paper evaluation is part of the course we are providing full and test series everything is part of the course SEBI grade A GK digest is also part of the course for last month it's available for free for last month it's available for free link is available in the description please check download it and uh, list of our students who cracked the exam the sebi grade exam in last years i'm really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind ask your doubts 9067201000 this is my whatsapp number you can ask your doubts and i'm going to answer your doubts this number is available on whatsapp uh, subscribe the channel and like this video that's really really important for me that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day Bye bye